Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Shaquita and you are now watching Crown Me Quita. Today we are jumping into yet another episode of Shaquita Speaks and today's topic is Brianna Taylor. If you are not familiar with Brianna Taylor and what happened to her, I'd encourage you to pause the video before moving forward and kind of read up on the case and how it was handled. So today is September 24th and the year is 2020 and it's recently been all over the news um, of how two of the police officers responsible for her murder are not being punished, simply put. And one of the police officers is being punished for the bullets that missed her and went into her neighbor's wall or door. I'm not exactly sure which part of the home, but more justice is being um, served to the fact that property was damaged rather than an innocent life was taken. This is not okay. Simply put, I do not have faith in our justice system. Um, it's proven to be more of an injustice system. You know, I will never understand how property is more valuable than human life. And this is all the more reason why my faith is not in the justice system, but my faith is in Jesus Christ. One thing that I can say for certain is that this is a battle for the Lord. And I can't help but thank God that I know when to fix my lips and pray. And I can't help but thank God that I know how to express my emotions upward to him rather than outward toward people. And I thank God that despite all of this, I'm still able to love all people. And I thank God that he has given me the ability to understand that love conquers all. And I thank God that I know that I'm able to understand that this is a battle, a spiritual battle. And I thank God that I truly understand the power of prayer. And I understand that it's not going to help choosing a black side or a white side, but we are going to have to unite in prayer and trust God to fight this battle. One thing I can say is it is absolutely true that God don't like ugly, nor does he like evil. And vengeance is his. Romans chapter 12 verses 18 through 19 from the King James version of the Bible says this. If it be possible, as much as it lieth in you, live peaceably with all men. Verse 19 goes on to say, Dearly beloved, avenge not yourselves, but rather give place unto wrath. For it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. And that same two verses in the NCV, the New Century Version, reads like this. Do your best to live in peace with everyone. My friends, do not try to punish others when they wrong you, but wait for God to punish them with his anger. It is written, I will punish those who do wrong. I will repay them, says the Lord. So I said all of that to say it will do no good to channel our anger in the wrong direction. And we have to give the anger over to the Lord and trust that vengeance is truly his. It is only through him that I'm able to have a peace and to have faith that he is fighting behind the scenes even when it doesn't look like it. And I thank God that nothing is wasted with him. Breonna Taylor's life wasn't wasted. And God is certainly not happy with all of the evil that is happening on the earth through the hands of human beings that he created, that he created in his image, that he created to love people. He's not happy with the hate that 
human beings are inflicting on other human beings. So I encourage if you, you do not have a relationship with Jesus, I encourage you to seek him because it is only through Jesus Christ that we will be able to have peace in times like this. And it is only through Jesus Christ that we will be able to stay strong. I mean, I would like to attach the salvation prayer for any of you who desire to truly open your hearts to him and give your lives to him and trust him as your Lord and Savior. And if you take nothing else from this video, please know that vengeance belongs to God. Please know that love always wins. And when you truly love God, you can truly love people. I don't really know what else to say. I don't know if I hit all the points, but I trust that the Holy Spirit spoke through me because he's the one who impressed it upon my heart. And it's topics like this that I fight with my flesh about speaking on because they are hard topics. But when God says speak, I'm learning to speak because he is the only one that I live to please. And so be blessed. Thank you so much for watching this video. It was short and sweet. I totally almost forgot to close out in prayer um, because I do believe that everything that I just touched on needs to be uplifted in prayer. Um, and Holy Spirit, please give me the Lord, the words. Um, so, okay, let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, I just first want to thank you, Lord. Thank you for who you are. Thank you for fighting behind the scenes, even when we can't see it. Thank you for my faith in you, Lord. Um, even when the justice system continues to fail us, Lord, thank you for faith in you. Right now, God, I just want to come to you and lay some things at your feet, Father God. First of all, just continue to lead me in coming to you and laying my anger at your feet. And I'm never really projecting that on other people, Father God, but just continuing to love other people, Lord. Please continue to give me the boldness and courage and anybody under the sound of my voice, Lord, the boldness and courage to expose evil, expose racism, expose systematic injustice. And Lord, to call you down in the middle of it and trust that vengeance is truly yours. Lord, I pray for the family of Breonna Taylor because I know that what is circulating through the news right now is the last thing that they wanted to hear. In all of this, Lord, I just pray that you reveal yourselves to them in a mighty way and that it brings them into a closer relationship with you. And Lord, I pray that justice is served. Um, I pray that you just have your way, Father God. Pierce the hearts of those who are responsible for trying this case and they didn't do it any justice, Lord. Um, and forgive us when we fail to love people and we let our emotions win and take over and just continue to guide us in that, Lord. To continue to guide us in turning our emotions over to you. Lord, our nation needs you. Um, it's not getting any better, Lord. And so I really pray right now for anyone who does not have a relationship with you, God. I pray that you show them you. However you choose to do so, Lord, that you show them you, that you reveal yourself in a mighty way that makes them hungry, Lord, that makes them want to seek you, Lord. And I just pray that those who need you find you, God, and that they're able to be strengthened through only you because you're the only one who can give us strength in our weaknesses God I don't really know what else to pray Lord but I, I just thank you for even giving me a heart to obey and even pray right now God and I just pray that we we as a nation continue to turn to you in prayer when things like this happen Lord um, and trust that you are fighting as I said before because this is a spiritual battle and it's when we understand that you are the one who you are the only one who can win it. And so, Lord, I lay this at your feet. I trust you with it because I don't trust anyone more than I trust you. I trust you more than I trust anyone else. And so I lay it at your feet and it's in your mighty, matchless and powerful name. I pray. Amen. OK, so now that truly concludes the video. Um, please.
Remember to um, share this with somebody who you think it may impact. Comment down below with prayer requests. I'll be happy to uplift them. And remember to adjust your crowns and walk in love because royalty looks good on you. I'll see you in the next video. Happy YouTubing! Thank <laughs> you.